In this tutorial, I'll show you how to modify the model of a sports car made in a previous tutorial to make a Batmobile. Open the model of the sports car body. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Change the view to the top view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel and untick background images. Go into edit mode and turn limit selection to visible off. Select a vertex, zoom back with the mouse wheel, press B for B select and select all the vertices down the one side and delete them. Select a vertex, press B for B select and select all the central vertices. Turn limit selection to visible back on. Click the modifiers button, add modifier mirror. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to use proportional editing to shape the wings of the car, but I don't want the central vertices affected, so I'm going to hide them. Hide selected, shortcut key H. Enable proportional editing. I'm zooming in and I'm going to select the first vertex to be moved. Press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and use the mouse wheel to adjust the region of proportional editing. I'm going to reduce it so the wheel hub is not affected and I'm going to enter 0.1 enter. Select the next vertex, G to grab, Z, 0.2 and enter. Select the next, G, Z, 0.4 and enter. Select, G, Z, 0.7 and enter. Select, G to grab, Z, 0.8 and enter. G to grab, Y for the Y direction, minus 0.1 and enter to move that back a little. Select, G, Y, 0.1 and enter to move that vertex slightly forward. I'm going to disable proportional editing to move some individual vertices around. The selected vertex I'm going to move down, G, Z, and I'm going to enter a value minus 0.2 and enter. This vertex I'm going to move down a bit, G, Z, minus 0.05 and enter. And I'm going to do the same to the corresponding vertex on the other side, G, Z, minus 0.05 and enter. I'm going to use proportional editing to increase the curvature above the front wheel arch. Press C for C select and select all the vertices in the wheel arch. I'm going to hide them so they're not affected by the proportional editing. Press escape to get out of C select. Press H to hide the vertices. Enable proportional editing. Select a middle vertex. Press G to grab. Z for the Z direction and move that up. I'm going to enter a value 0.2 and use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing. Mesh, show hide, show hidden. Go into object mode, apply the mirror modifier, and there we have the Batmobile car body. Next, I'm going to modify the top of the sports car. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. View, align view to the selected. I'm going to make the top smaller by setting the X scale to 0.8, the Y scale to 0.8, and I'm going to make the top taller by setting the Z scale to 1.2, and I'm going to apply the scale. Go into edit mode and turn limit selection to visible on. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Now I want to put a central strut in the middle of the windscreen, so I need to add some geometry. Select the vertex, turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Hold down shift, select the second vertex, click subdivide. Select the new vertex. I'm going to do a vertex slide, shortcut key, shift and V and press 0.8 and enter, select, shift select, subdivide, select, shift and V, 
point 8 and enter, select, shift select, subdivide, select, shift and V, point 8 and enter, select, shift select, subdivide, select, shift V, point 8 and enter. Select the knife tool, hover over the first vertex, click, hover over the second vertex, click, press spacebar to confirm, select the knife tool, hover over the first vertex, click, hover over the second vertex, click, press spacebar to confirm. That's all the modifications I'm going to make to the top of the car. Remember to save as ready to append with the body of the car. I'm going to open the body of the car, file, append, go to the folder where you've saved your modified top, select the file, go into the object folder, select the car top and append. In the outliner window, select the car top. I'm going to set its Z location to be 0.9 and its Y location to be minus two. And there we have our Batmobile body and top. I'm gonna to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. In part two of the tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the materials.